Good morning, YouTubers. And welcome to the bed vlog. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, how was your evening? Mine was good. Uh, I got my bill. You guys might want to know how much it cost. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. How much was the beer? I think they forgot to charge me for the beer. I love that. Come on. Oh, well, maybe they didn't. It's $24 for four beers. Yikes. 24 bucks, so well, 5, 10, 15, 20. So more than $5 a beer? Whoa. Don't drink beer at the Hilton. So, we are in the darkness. So, I gotta shave. I got to pack everything up because it is a mess. I'm messy sometimes. Uh, pack up. I have to find out what time Dame is meeting me. He wants to actually meet me here in Milford. And then I'm gonna follow him to our location in New York. Um, he has like, I'll pick you up. And I'm like, I got a car, dude. <laughs> uh, so he'll uh, meet me here. But what I was thinking first, uh, depending on what time he gets here, depends on whether or not I can zip over and do a Cracker Barrel review. Uh, I'd really like to do a Cracker Barrel review. I have to go there no matter what, because there's only one here. Uh, there was one actually way back towards um, uh, Rhode Island, but uh, I, like I said yesterday, I was really tired and not really hungry for food. So I didn't eat dinner last night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I'll try and do a review there before I leave this area, depending on what time Dame comes. If Dame's coming here at like 10, then I've got possibly some time to go and grab one of my favorite foods from uh, Cracker Barrel. So it's shaving time. Disaster has struck once again. I uh, went into the bathroom to shave and I'm looking through my kit and I don't have any shaving cream, don't have any razors. And I'm trying to think, well, where did I stay last night? I stayed here. So I shaved the night before I left to come here and I left my razor and shaving cream at home, like some dumbass. So uh, I think I need to shave. Possibly. I'm not sure how rugged I look. Dame is gonna be so disappointed. Um, so I'm gonna have to zip out, grab a razor and some shaving cream and come back to my hotel room and shave because I don't think I can get away with this. It's not gonna happen. People are just gonna think he's just a slob. Yeah, so I gotta zip over. At least I packed up nicely. Look at that, all clean. That's this is my Halal guys thing. I, I didn't finish all of it. My bananas. So I went down to my car and I'm thinking, you know what? They might have some stuff for sale. They might have like a little store or whatever. So I go up to the front counter and I'm like, I forgot my shaving cream and razor at home. She's like, you didn't. And I'm like, I did. And uh, so look at this complimentary. If you need it, they got it. Thank you, Hilton. But <laughs> my only fear is that razor. It's a, it's a double razor, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna cut my head off. I'm so used to the, the Mach 3 triple blade. Anyway, we're back in the room, check it out. You don't wanna see me shave. <laughs> there we go, all smooth like a baby's bum. Well, not perfect, but it'll do. I was just worried that I was gonna cut myself. Cause that thing is scary. Okay, good screwing around, we gotta go. So, thank you very much, Hilton. Uh, I was, that, that my only complaint, ladies and gentlemen, my only two complaints about this hotel is the loudness of that fan. There's only one switch that does the light and the fan, but that fan's way too loud. I don't like the fan and the fact that when people walk back and forth above me, I can hear them walk back and forth above me. I just realized that only one of the bananas got squashed. 
the other one's still good. So I'm taking back my bananas. Sorry, Hilton, you don't get them. All right, we gotta get out of here. I'm not screwing around. I don't know what time. Damn, it's supposed to be. I am at the Cracker Barrel. Whoops, who could that be? It's Dame Drops. Uh, yeah, I was just telling him that I was gonna be, he was supposed to meet me at my hotel, but I'm not gonna be at the hotel now. I'm gonna be at uh, Cracker Barrel doing a review. And, uh, hmm, as I said, that gives me an idea, but I think we're doing other reviews elsewhere later today. I'm gonna be full tonight. I'm not gonna be able to eat dinner. Crazy! I love these chairs. They used to be 99 bucks. Oh, see there's, if you want a half size, you can get that one for $99. They look great at the cottage, don't you think? So I'm gonna go inside, see if they can make me the my favorite thing, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. You'll have to find out later. So a little bit of a turn of events. The ladies, uh, I said, oh, I'm, you know, I'm a food reviewer, I'm from Toronto, and this is one of my favorite places to eat when I travel down to Florida and stuff. And she's like, oh, that's cool. And uh, I told her the kind of the strange request that I have is to eat off of the plate and to have a milkshake and, and do it in my car. And she's like, well, why don't we just, why don't you just eat in here? And I said, well, I'll have to shut the music off. And so she went to go find their manager, but the manager's at the bank and, uh, but, Rochelle and uh, Kayla are really nice girls and they're ask, they're trying to help me out. But uh, if worse comes to worse, I'll be eating in my car. If something really cool happens, then I'll be eating inside the restaurant. That'd be awesome. So if you've never been to the Cracker Barrel, it's this really cool Southern old country store and restaurant. Uh, one of the coolest things about it is like almost half the building is a store and the other half is a restaurant. It's a great combination because you know, while you're waiting for your food, you can go and shop. So they're kind of getting you on both ends. They're getting you with the food and you're buying food. And then while you're waiting for your food, you're going to go and shop and buy stuff like pecan rolls and bread and uh, Coca-Cola paraphernalia and clothing. They've got it all. What a great concept. Oh, well, they, the manager came back and I kind of had a feeling that it wasn't going to happen. So uh, I'm just going to eat in my car. It's going to get my stuff all set up. These big, big stores, like yesterday when I was with Emmy, the uh, at the Wiener place, they were just like, "Sure, no problem. This is awesome." And then these big corporation places, they just can't. I don't know. They just can't. I don't know. Afford to have me say something wrong or whatever. But whatever. I'll still promote them, even though they don't want to help me out. How's it going, man? Look at those Dane guys. Hey, All right. What's going on, man? How you feeling, man? All right. How you doing? I'm tired. Yeah. I'm here. Are you ready to eat? We're ready to eat. Are you ready to make the magic happen? We're going to make magic happen, sir. We're out here in Connecticut right now. Ken already got us hungry on a Cracker Barrel. He started breakfast without <laughs> me. I came on an empty stomach to make sure I handle business for this channel properly, for both of our channels properly. I'm about to take him to New York. We're gonna do a major White Castle. It's about to go down. That's gonna be awesome, brother. My man. All my right. Man. All right, guys. So Dame and I just had a really awesome, very long conversation all about YouTube and personal stuff. So it was very, very cool talking with Dame. He's an absolutely amazing, amazing guy. Um, so we're not going to be driving to New York because we just figured that we need to save some time. Like I just did a food review here, uh, but that was about an hour and a half ago because that's how long we've been talking. Uh, so we're going to do a review at a place I think called Duchess here. Uh, so I will not be doing the White Castle with Dame. I'll probably try and do the White Castle with Chris or Red. No, Reg is actually here. So we're gonna hook up with Reg. Uh, I'm not sure how this food stuff's gonna work because uh, I'm gonna be very large if I do five food reviews in one day. So I might not be eating all the food. I might be just doing like a sample taste testing of it. Oh my gosh. The life of a food reviewer. You know what? If we put it on the tripod, we could probably get it maybe a bit closer. That's gangster. Well, I always thought you... Oh, yeah, you do have the GoPro, though. So is this what you use? Yeah. You set up? 
Uh, actually, not with this. I do two GoPros. I have two cell phones. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I use the GoPro for that, Jay. I wish I wish it was stick. Oops, recording. Right. I'll review them if you'd like. Okay, and you already had energy drinks coming to you, man. Oh, really? Of course. I, 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 I never come ill prepared. Nice. On camera, you're about to get them. Oh, my gosh. Hey guys, check out what Dame drops. I was just walking by and he's like, hey, Ken, come here, I got some stuff for you. I'm like, what do you got for me, Dame? And he's got some super official stuff. Oh my. I'm just saying, Ken, I'm just I'm just saying. I know that I'm not shipping out to Canada right now. I'm, I'm hoping to change that in the near future, but knowing the fact that you came over here, I want to take care of you something proper. Awesome. So. so <clears throat> Can you actually ship to Canada, or is there? I like, could. There's, there's, there's rules could, but the or thing, laws. But no, or... no. Here's the crazy part about well, this, this probably these might so. be the first ones ever coming to Canada, though. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping the the, the fly man, they're, they're two ounce. They, they shouldn't sweat you so much. Have you actually one of them? Of course. And all of them. Well, <laughs> no, I, was, well, I remember you but, you're doing that review. Well, all of them at different times. All of them at different and times. And your wife was like, "You're not gonna drink them all, are you?" Yeah, yeah, exactly. She was uh, she was hating hard on one second. I have something else back here. Dame's getting fresh with me. You know, this is my super Holy stash. Crap. <laughs> you know, always gotta have the super stash on deck. That's what you drank just before you got here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They're, they're all empty. They're all empty. We're just. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, it's like you know, wanted to make sure that I had you with the, the grape flavor. Nice. All right, grape is the most requested and the most uh, ordered so far. Individuals are loving the grape. That's that's number one. Okay. Then after grape. They love, they love the fruit punch. Okay. All right, they're about the fruit punch game, which is cool. Me, in particular, I enjoy grape, and then I enjoy very berry. That would be my favorite. I'm very not, berry? I'm not, I'm not a huge grape anything okay, flavor okay. dude, uh, but I'll try them all for sure. Most definitely. And then, you know, lemon lime has you feeling just no, fine. That'd be all right. All right. But the very berry would be my number one choice for sure. And then orange, which orange. is more of a medicine flow, but still has that orange taste to it. Okay. Just, you know, I'm keeping it funky. <laughs> so these are for you, brother. So review coming up, guys. Nice, thank you. All right. Awesome. So actually, you can now say you're the first Canadian with Dame Drop energy shots. Awesome. I, I am the, same the same. first Canadian with the Dame with Drop five energy. energy drops from Dame Drops. All five flavors. <laughs> Look at that super white angle. Like, you know what's crazy? Like, not only that, you're actually in the studio receiving the energy drops from me. How many people get that chance? Nobody. Most individuals just get to review it. You, you, you're getting them. I'm getting it. I'm just saying. Hey Ian, this is in your face. I'm getting it right from Dame. <laughs> you had to get it shipped to you, buddy. <laughs> Much love to everybody rocking now. You know how we get down. Ian would love the fact that I mentioned him on my video. So guys, we just finished doing our Sonic review and Dame hooked me up. We're not gonna say anything about what it tasted like and uh, you'll have to watch the video, but because uh, this video usually goes up tonight, it should. Excellent. So I just want to thank Dame once again for hanging out with me for the day, showing me a little bit of Connecticut food-wise, and uh, yeah, there's a Macy's over there, there's La Fitness, but we're not gonna do, what place do you go to? Was that thought you just La, La Fitness? Is it La Fitness? It won't be, probably in Puerto Rico, that's LA Fitness though. Love fitness. I always, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's funny because in Canada, we've we got them in Canada, and of course, there's French in Canada. Mm -hmm. So I just always, this, I want to see it. I know it's LA fitness, but my love, brain love says love fitness. That's all right. That's all right. You know <laughs> Silly what? Canadians. Well, what I also noticed about, about Canadians, I noticed it from my man, uh, Matthew Centaur, as well. You say the word process instead of process. Process. No, well, if we, if you have processed cheese, we say processed cheese. But when you have a process to get something done, I'll say process. Interesting. Yeah. That's what's up. It yeah. all what? works, man. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Grammar with Dame and Ken. Or Ken and Dame. Oh, so either way. That'd be a great movie either way. All right, we're hey. going to take over him. Yeah, that's right. Instead of, what's, what was that movie with uh, the Harold White and, Castle? Yeah. Harold and Kumar? Imagine you and I doing a movie. Get on that. Get on that. We can make it happen. <laughs> Ken and, and Kumar. Ken and Dame drive Ken across the United States trying to find the best milkshakes. Dude. We'd have to we'd have to cycle though so we could keep the pounds off. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> and we're back. I think that's gonna be my new catchphrase for this channel. Um, we're now heading over to Reggie Reg's or Reg Reviews and he just lives supposedly about 11 minutes away. Uh, so Dame is driving in front of me. Uh, we just finished doing the Sonic thing and we are now off to Reg's. 
And we're back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in New Haven, Connecticut right now, and I am talking with Reg from Reg Reviews. How's it going, buddy? What's going on, people out there? And uh, uh, his link will be in the description below. Check him out. He's really funny, and also tonight I'm going to be with Chris. You got to check out his videos, too, because I love watching these guys sitting in the cars or whatever you guys are doing and having fun with food. So go check him out. Right now we're just discussing whether or not or what we're going to eat. Have you any idea of what we're going to eat? It's a, it's a couple things out there, man. We got some real good soul food spots. We got some fish spots. I think we should do pizza, soul food. burger, you know. New Haven's home with a lot of things. We just real undercover. You know what I'm saying? We like to keep it like that, you know. Very That's nice. That's how we roll. Real silent. We'll get on that in just a minute. Hang on. That was my day in uh, New Haven. New Haven, right? New Haven, Connecticut. Connecticut. New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, we're right by Yale. They just informed me of this whole area being owned by Yale. Uh, so I got some education, had some really bad food, <laughs> and uh, a half-ass milkshake. But it wasn't all bad. You'll find out in the next couple videos. But I'd like to thank Reg for helping me out. Of course, Big Dane. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget to check out Reg's channel. Of course, check out Dame's channel when our, all of our videos come out. They'll all be linked together. It'll be pretty simple sing, 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 sing. to figure it out. Any last words, sir? <laughs> Shake Shack, you owe me a gift card. $200. 200 <laughs> At least. <laughs> And Dame? That was Reg being nice. I didn't even do the review this time because I knew what it was the last time I went to Shake Shack. They still owe me money from that. As a matter of fact, they owe me money from 88 when somebody uh, <laughs> in the marketing wow. office was thinking that they needed to come out with this garbage idea, B. Wow. Your high-end look does not support the low-end product that you give to the people. Mm. I'm gonna leave it straight like that, man. I never ever do another review at Shake Shack. You couldn't pay me twice. For one review, holla at your boy. Okay, I just want to just give you an idea of what I've been dealing with all day. Just stay there for a sec. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to show you how small I am compared to these guys. Look at that. I'm like, I feel like a little kid at, at school and it's lunchtime and they want my money. <laughs> they, they see us on YouTube, they yeah. think everybody Muggsy Bowles and they see Shaquille O'Neal, they're like, Exactly, exactly. Because wow. of course, people don't get to see you guys out of your car or wherever you do your videos. Right. So nobody knows how big you are, but and they don't know how big I am either. But I'm 5'10", 5'10 and a half, and both these guys are rocking the six plus. You know what it is, man. Yeah. You know, Reggie Reg over there as you know, spur status, ready to play point. <laughs> you know, you know me, I'm, I'm QB styling football, <laughs> killing them, eating them, eating them, killing them. It's what I do, you know. Oh, should I, should I uh, even attempt the whole Oreo joke or what? You might as well go for it. You might as well go for it. You with us, you safe. You know what? You safe. You know what? You safe. I, 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 I'm like the, the cream filling in the in, uh, in Oreo right now. Pretty much. Double yeah. stuff. Double, double stuff. Double stuff. Double stuff. <laughs> so I was going down. All right, That's how we guys. Do it. Thanks for hanging out. Right. That was awesome. So I'm just out of New Haven. I needed to get some gas. Uh, gas here is $3.99.9. We'll see how many gallons this tank holds because I haven't I do liters and stuff in Canada so doing gallons in this car I have no idea I actually had to go inside because these things won't let you uh, pump gas unless you have a zip code and of course I'm from Canada I don't have a code so uh, I had to go inside give my credit card get prepaid authorized up to 50 bucks so it stopped at 50 so I don't have no idea how many liters this, or gallons this thing holds but it stopped at 12.5 gallons all right guys I finally made it back to Brooklyn and uh, or is this Queens I always get confused where I am let's try again yeah I'm in Queens uh, I did say on the this brochure type thing that said uh, East Elmhurst. So I'm not sure if it's another little division of uh, Queens, but I'm like right across from LaGuardia Airport. So there's the airport, so I can watch airplanes land. There's the, the tower, ding, ding, ding. Um, so I've been watching some planes land as I was setting up my computer and stuff. Uh, so that's Upper Manhattan, way over here, and then 
right, I can't really see in the camera, but right by that tree, I believe, is the Empire State Building. And if you look really hard, you can see South Manhattan. Uh, but I sort of asked the guy, I said, oh, can I please get a room that looks over Manhattan? I was kind of hoping it was like looking right over Manhattan, but. And we're back. I shut the camera off there by accident, I apologize. Uh, so I just got a text back from Chris and he said, hey, Kenya, can we do it tomorrow, bro? So I just got into town and it's uh, 7.30. I still haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, I still have to do the, the vlog, put that up for you guys. So I think I'm gonna relax tonight because it looks like Chris wants to do it tomorrow, which is good. I was kind of hoping he didn't want to do it tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm like fooded out. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this vlog. Um, I'll probably do one last piece of the vlog later after I've edited all the vlog just to see if I missed anything or whatever. And this air conditioning is blowing right up my pant leg. It's really cold, but look at the parking. Nice. I actually got to park right out front. There's a hotel over that way. I went there first and they're about $149. And there was like no place to park. He's like, he's got tons of rooms, no place to park. I'm like, okay. So I came down this way and, and saw the Hampton. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna splurge a little bit tonight and uh, get a nice room. So it was like 169 and he said <clears throat> yesterday they were like 269. So they had they've they had this little sale on trying to get people to stay here. So I got a $269 room with two beds only because this is the only room left that overlooked Manhattan. So I took the two bedroom and this is going to be a $10 more charge, but technically I'm not going to be using one of the beds. So so he gave me $10 off. Gave me the, the price of the king size room for the same price as this room even though this one was more size really happy about that i love it when people help me out anyway guys uh i'm just going to probably order up some food and check my messages i am out of disk space and i forgot to bring my little portable hard drive left it at home for my wife because all our movies are on it and uh that was a bad idea i should have taken it and then taken the heat for it uh and i also forgot to show you the room Two beds, very nice. Cushy, and we've got like a special thing you can eat on, I guess. Nice television. There's my pop, I just put out to go get some ice. There's a mirror. There's nothing more better than a mirror. There's some guy trying to push something up, I don't know why. Look at this bathroom though, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. We've got some shampoo, which I'll be using for sure. So, hair dryer, I definitely need that. As you can see, hair dryer, can. We've got a whole ton of stuff here. Hot coffee maker, toilet, make sure it's flushed. Ah! Uh, shower, that's a really nice rack. I think I'm gonna take it. <laughs> All right, guys, there's the little tour. Oh, they got a nice big closet. I think one of those racks to put your luggage on. Uh, an iron, they've got, this This place has got everything. Definitely more than the last place. But the last place, you know, gave me a razor and some duct tape. <laughs> uh, shaving cream and some, uh, why I thought of duct tape off the top of my head, I don't know. Maybe that's the next, next time I'll shave that way with duct tape. I had an absolutely horrible night tonight. I had the best parking spot. And of course, because I ran out of disk space, I went to go find a Best Buy or some type of a computer place or electronics place. And the guys downstairs or the people at the front office desk thing, as you can tell, I've had a rum of Coke. Uh, they gave me a little map and they're really super helpful and everything's great. But the roads here, between the roads, my GPS system I have on my iPhone, and the traffic and the type of people that drive here, it is like, I just have the worst time ever. It should have taken me probably 10 minutes to get to a spot to the spot where I actually bought this uh, hard drive. I had to buy this Toshiba hard drive. 
And you guys definitely don't get cheaper prices for electronics unless because of where I bought it, but it was $90 for that freaking one terabyte hard drive. Anyway, so when I left here, I ended up on a highway, didn't get off of the exit I was supposed to, ended up going over a bridge into the Bronx, which cost $7.50 in tolls, turn around, come back over the bridge, which cost $7.50 in tolls. So it cost me $15 to go over a bridge and back. <laughs> and then I got lost like crazy, ended up at a Radio Shack that was closed. Thank you, Radio Shack. And every single Radio Shack I saw after that were open. So why this one particular one was closed is beyond me. And I ended up uh, finally finding a Best Buy but as I drove up to this Best Buy, I'm not sure exactly where it is in Queens, but it was inside a, as, I, as I'm driving up to it, there was a radio shack right there, no parking anywhere. You cannot park anywhere in this area. Uh, there were cars parked along the side, and then there were people parked, double parked beside them in their car. I guess it's almost like daddy came, dropped their kids off, and then stayed there while the kids went inside and shopped, or his wife, whatever. No place to park and it was inside a huge mall. So you couldn't see, it wasn't like I could just drive into a parking lot, park my car, run inside a Best Buy, grab a hard drive, probably way more, ex less expensive than that. Uh, but then I turned around, I don't really know how I even found the next uh, Radio Shack, but I found one, the guy was super handy, friendly, everything was great in the, but I had to, I had to like illegally park. I parked in a spot that you shouldn't have parked in. But I was like, That's just, I'm getting pissed. I was so angry by this point. Ran in there, grabbed it, treated him with respect, got in my car, made it somehow back here. Uh, I found a liquor store. That was easy. Uh, and then finally came back here. I've edited everything. Everything's fine. I had to cancel Chris. I really apologized uh, to Chris. I just sent him a text. Uh, I can't, there's no way I can do Chris. Two videos, like one for me, one for Chris, tomorrow morning, and Chuck, and then I have to be out of here by three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And it's just no way, it's just like chaos. And there's one store that's somewhere in uh, Brooklyn that I need to get to, and it's a secret. I don't wanna tell you until I possibly get what I need to get. It's very um, breaking. It's very breaking news, bad. Try to put that together. Anyway, thanks for watching Ken's vlogs. You guys, are, every single day that goes by, the, the views just keep going up and up and up. And every single video I put out gets more and more views because of you guys. So I really, really appreciate that. And I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers on this channel, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it shows that you guys are interested in what's going on in my life. And this is like the perfect time to watch what's going on in my life because it's chaos. Good night. God be with you.